Let's go to Pride. Woo! Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Alyssa. Check the pronouns and let's go to a Pride event. Okay, this is the sensory zone. I do come back to this I later. I forgot my hearing protection. That's going to be fun for me. Ella! <laughs> They're Ella. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is my friend Valentina. She's an Ella. Say hi, Valentina. Anyway, we were up in Oceanside, which is in northern San Diego, and they were doing their Oceanside Pride by the Beach. Delicious, yummy. Pride by the Beach is one of the many events that happen around San Diego during Pride Month in June, and then there are also events in July. Something else to mention about Pride by the Beach is that it is a free event, which is pretty cool, which adds to the variety of the landscape of Pride events in June and July in San Diego. There was only street parking for this event, which can be a little tricky in Oceanside. Um, and here you can see some of the nonprofits that were working in San Diego, and we love them. Um, this event was also pet friendly. Um, because it was outdoors and out on the concrete, so Leia is not in gear, but she was working. As I mentioned before, I did forget my hearing protection, and it was very loud and pretty crowded. This um, Pride event is dog-friendly, so there are lots of dogs, which means no gear, because it's a lot like educating people and asking them not to touch when there's a bunch of free dogs, it just, it's a whole thing. Okay, so don't be shocked when you don't see her in here. When I'm overwhelmed, I try to stick to foods that I can sort of trust. The Grilled Cheese King came in so clutch for me, providing grilled cheese, which is definitely a safe food. And I heard that the bao buns that were here were not as good, so I'm really grateful that I got what I liked and was able to eat. And let's take a break because I'm so overwhelmed. I was on the verge of a meltdown, which is probably my least favorite thing to do in public, but I can't control it. I was hot, I was hungry, I was overwhelmed. My hearing wasn't protected because I forgot my loops at home. And I was so grateful when someone let me borrow their hearing protection. I'm always so grateful to be part of the queer community because I was surrounded by other neurodivergent people and autistic people specifically and they were able to support me when I was not able to support myself and they were able to help my wife get to me so I could take emergency migraine medication. Um, it really having sort of a village of people around you to support your care and your health is so crucial. Community care is crucial. At this point, I had forgotten that I was filming and was just trying to manage and take care of myself, which I eventually do by putting on a hat, taking some medication, eating, and fulfilling my basic needs to help re-regulate. So now that we are sun protected some more, so I don't have to squint, let's take ourselves back out. You look so cute! Roundabout again, doing another lap. I think that's what Pride events are all about. It's you being yourself, but also finding community and connections and really finding how you can settle into those. One of the aspects of the Pride I really enjoyed was having such a designated sensory zone and calm zone where they had signs asking people to speak quietly and I finally got some earplugs. That's I would say that the noise level for this Pride event was average for any sort of outdoor festival. Um, but what I really enjoyed was the activities that they had laid out. 
I made several bracelets um, and they got better as the day went on. <laughs> but um, this was the view away from the main drag at one of the places where we were doing um, bracelets and you can see the main stage over there and there's some pretty loud music. And my makeup failed. My sunglasses were a brown tint and so I wasn't getting as much coverage as I wish I had. That's what happens when you squint all day. How was your free pride? It was amazing! Woo! We love free. What was your best part? Um, oh my god, oh my god. You gotta pick one. Pick one. Hand sanitizer. Jasmine's back. How was your first booth? Great. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Britt, what was your favorite part? Um, probably making the buttons. You did make a lot of buttons. What was your favorite part? I like making the bracelets the best. I made a bracelet too. I like furthering my work for trans youth. Protect trans youth, baby. Pride one. We have so many more to go. The elevator works on the way down. Woo! Uh, we're all home, showered, we're having breakfast for dinner, and we're done. We, I can't do a haul. Look, I'm in jammies. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.